As artificial intelligence becomes a part of our everyday life, competition is heating up among tech companies. And now, Chinese tech giant Baidu is stepping up to the plate. So Baidu's latest creation, the Ernie Bot, might just have what it takes to outdo ChatGPT. Let's discuss Baidu's latest creation, Ernie Bot, which is making bold claims about outperforming the well-known ChatGPT. In this video, we'll be exploring the rise of Ernie Bot, looking into what makes it special, and discussing if it really can surpass ChatGPT. But before we get into it, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss an update from me. All right, let's get started. So what is Ernie Bot exactly? Well, Ernie Bot is Baidu's latest generative AI product and knowledge-enhanced large language model. It was introduced on March 16th, 2023 at a press conference at Baidu's headquarters in Beijing. According to Baidu, Ernie Bot can comprehend human intentions and deliver accurate, logical, and fluent responses approaching human level. It can interact in dialogue, create content, reason with knowledge, and generate multiple modes of output. Ernie Bot is based on a series of models called Ernie, Enhanced Representation Through Knowledge Integration, and Plato, pre-trained dialogue generation model that Baidu has been developing since 2019. Ernie is a foundational AI model that can learn from large-scale knowledge and unlabeled data based on semantic units. Plato is a dialogue generation model that can handle various types of conversations such as chit-chat, knowledge-grounded, and task-oriented. Ernie Bot is the latest version of these models, called Ernie 3.5 Titan. It has over double the parameters to work with compared to ChatGPT-3, and it's almost on par with the more advanced GPT-4. It also has some unique features that make it stand out from other chatbots, such as plugins and search integration. I'll talk more about these features later in the video, but first, let's see how Ernie Bot performs in some tests and benchmarks. Baidu claims that Ernie Bot surpasses ChatGPT and GPT-4 in certain key areas. To prove this claim, Baidu conducted several tests and benchmarks using different types of evaluation methods. One of these methods is using standard admission and qualification exams that are widely used in China for education and employment purposes. These exams cover diverse subjects such as language, math, logic, history, geography, politics, law, medicine, etc. They are designed to test the candidate's knowledge level, reasoning ability, and problem-solving skills. Baidu says that Ernie Bot achieved an average score of 85% on these exams, which is higher than the average score of human candidates, 75%, and much higher than ChatGPT, 55% and GPT-4, 60%. This shows that Ernie Bot has a strong grasp of general knowledge and can handle complex questions across various domains. Another method is using multiple choice question evaluation, MCQE, which is a common way of measuring the natural language understanding ability of AI models. MCQE consists of questions that have four possible answers each. The questions are taken from different sources such as textbooks, news articles, novels, etc. Baidu says that Ernie Bot achieved an average accuracy of 92% on MCQE, which is higher than ChatGPT, 88%, and GPT-4, 90%. This shows that Ernie Bot can understand the meaning and context of natural language texts better than other chatbots. The third method is using a test developed by a group of U.S. universities called GLUCOCA, General Language Understanding Evaluation, Conversational Question Answering. This test measures the conversational question answering ability of AI models. It consists of dialogues between a human and a chatbot, where the human asks questions about a given passage and the chatbot answers them. Baidu says that Ernie Bot achieved an average F1 score of 88% on GLUCOCA, which is higher than ChatGPT, 82%, and GPT-4, 85%. This shows that Ernie Bot can handle conversational question answering better than other chatbots. These are some of the tests and benchmarks that Baidu used to compare Ernie Bot with ChatGPT and GPT-4. Of course, these are not the only ways to evaluate chatbots, and there may be some limitations and biases in these methods, but they do give us some idea of how Ernie Bot performs in different scenarios and tasks. So what does this mean for the future of AI and chatbot technology? Well. It means that there is a new player in the game, and it's a formidable one. Ernie Bot is not only a challenge to ChatGPT, but also to other chatbots and AI models in the market. It shows that Baidu is serious about developing cutting-edge AI technology, 
and competing with other tech giants such as Google, Facebook, and Microsoft. Baidu is not the only Chinese company that is investing in AI and chatbot technology. Alibaba, Tencent, Huawei, and others are also developing their own models and products. China has a huge market for AI applications, especially in areas such as education, healthcare, entertainment, e-commerce, etc. There is a lot of demand and potential for chatbots that can provide information, guidance, assistance, and entertainment to users. But China is not only interested in serving its domestic market, it also wants to expand its global influence and presence in the AI field. It wants to showcase its technological prowess and innovation to the world. It wants to challenge the dominance of the US and other countries in AI research and development. This means that we can expect more competition and collaboration between Chinese and non-Chinese companies and researchers in the future. We can also expect more innovation and diversity in AI and chatbot technology as different models and products try to cater to different needs and preferences of users. So what makes Ernie Bot so special? What are some of the features that set it apart from other chatbots? Well, one of them is plugins. Plugins are modules that can be added to Ernie Bot to enhance its functionality and performance. They can provide additional information, skills, or services to users. For example, one plugin is called Wenshin Yiga, which means one word from the heart. This plugin allows Ernie Bot to generate creative content such as poems, stories, essays, songs, etc., based on user input or prompts. Another plugin is called Wenshin Qianfan, which means a thousand sales from the heart. This plugin allows ErnieBot to write business documents such as resumes, proposals, reports, etc., based on user input or templates. Another feature that makes ErnieBot unique is search integration. ErnieBot can leverage Baidu's search engine to retrieve relevant information from the web and use it for knowledge reasoning and prompt construction. This means that ErnieBot can access a vast amount of data and knowledge from various sources and domains, and use it to generate more accurate, logical, and diverse responses. For example, if a user asks ErnieBot about the weather in Vienna today, ErnieBot can use Baidu's search engine to find the current weather information from reliable websites and report it back to the user. Or if a user asks ErnieBot to write a poem about love, ErnieBot can use Baidu's search engine to find some examples of love poems from famous poets and use them as inspiration or reference for its own poem. Sure, ErnieBot isn't without its flaws. There are still some areas where it needs to improve. For instance, how can we make sure that the information it pulls from the internet is both reliable and high quality? Or how can we prevent it from creating content that could be harmful or inappropriate? And there are bigger issues to consider too, like, how do we address the ethical and social implications of AI chatbots? These are just some of the challenges that Baidu, along with other AI developers, need to grapple with as they continue refining their creations. But for the moment, let's take a step back and admire what Ernie Bot has achieved. This is a big leap forward in the realm of AI, and it's an achievement that we should all applaud and respect. So that's it for today's video. What do you think about Ernie Bot? Have you tried it yourself? Do you think it's better than ChatGPT or not? Let me know in the comments. And don't forget, if you found this video informative and entertaining, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and click that notification bell to stay up to date with my latest videos on the fascinating world of AI. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.